that horrible thing you just showed me. I hate it. Do you hate it? Star Wars is course would Luke Skywalker like minions? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Fair. Guess who went to Fan Expo as Jin Erso? It's me. A little boxes on the hillside. A little boxes made ticky tacky. A little boxes on the hillside. A little boxes. Hello, potential friends, and welcome back to the vlogging nook with me, Alexandra, or otherwise known today as Jin Erso from Rogue One. I'm actually not wearing my full cosplay because I was too lazy to put it on to film this bit. But I did wear the full cosplay to Fan Expo. So me and a couple of friends decided that we were all going to get together and we were going to go on Saturday. That day became the adventures of Jin Erso, Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi, Ramona Flowers, and Roxy Richter. Richter? Whatever. From Scott Pilgrim. At Fan Expo 2017. Let's go! <laughs> was enormous. It took you like 20 minutes to get to the second building where the artist alley was from the other building that had the showroom. We got there at the crack of dawn. I actually got there first so I was just lurking outside leaning against the wall trying to look cool in my costume as opposed to looking like I had no friends. A guy walked by and he said oh a Jyn Erso and I was like yeah that's who I am. We knew nothing about celebrity signings, we knew nothing about panels, we knew nothing about events happening at it. We literally just showed up in costume. That was our fan expo plan. I did, however, see from afar Anthony Daniels, who's C-3PO, I saw Norman Reedus, and I saw Billy Piper and Catherine Tate pretty well from the distance I was at. And then I kind of got in trouble for uh, filming them. <laughs> Apparently, you're not supposed to do that if you're not in line. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. I'm, coming, I got it. I'm sorry, I'm fine. Please turn and look at my, my, my direction gather tape. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's her! Oh my god! I wish I had a zoom on this. Forsaken ledge. My love, there's only you in my life. Fan Expo was insane. You look around everywhere, there's most of the people actually weren't dressed up. Most people were just in regular clothing, but everywhere you look, there's some insane monster. There's some anime character who's carrying an enormous foam sword that you just have no idea how they even got in the building with. My other two friends who were with us were dressed as Roxy and Ramona from Scott Pilgrim. They were the biggest hit this con has ever had. Literally over like 15 people, I swear to God, came up and were like, oh my God, can I get a photo of you? They only saw a couple other like Ramona cosplayers and I'm pretty certain Grace was the only Roxy that we saw there. So Roxy and Ramona was the most sought after couples cosplay at that whole event. It was my first time doing cosplay. I did not wear these pins with my actual cosplay that day. I literally grew my hair out just so that I could do this cosplay because I had a pixie cut before. I've been planning this for a while. I bought the actual vest from like an online legit cosplay costume place. Then I got this shirt from um, Value Village 
and I uglily sewed the collar of it to make the sort of neckline flap that she's got on hers. I already owned the necklace because I got it like right after the movie. She's supposed to have brown leather fingerless gloves. I went to the dollar store the night before the convention and I got these and chopped off the fingers. They're black winter gloves. Bought this jacket from Value Village because it was around the right color. I had the right collar and it was like almost a crop jacket. I glued on over 60 individually cut rectangles of fabric to make the stripes on the sleeves. much respect for people who do legit cosplays. We saw some incredible cosplays. I was too afraid to ask most people for pictures, so I don't have too many pictures of those, but... went to see the picture of the 501st Legion of, it wasn't just Stormtrooper, 501st Legion of just like Star Wars cosplayers, I guess. They took a big photo and it took them like half an hour to get everybody lined up the way they wanted. The photographer was just like yelling instructions from above, being like, hello, Stormtrooper number three, can you uh, move an inch to the left? No, your other left. So we took way more photos than were necessary. Me and Grace went up to the balcony, Grace being Roxy, to get a proper view while Ramona was downstairs being annoyed <laughs> that we were taking so long. So I took a creep shot from her above to get like that artsy vibe. My love. We've got these great pictures of my friend Emily who's dressed as Luke Skywalker, of her posing with a Kylo Ren and her just being like, I'm so disappointed in you, nephew. I got to shoot darts at stormtroopers, which was, not gonna lie, the highlight of the entire day. I yelled, you killed my family, before it. <laughs> if they could pretend to arrest me and that became the best photo op of my life we met some more stormtroopers later and Jin Erso was squared up and ready to fight Jin don't need a weapon Jin is always ready catch these hands stormtroopers catch these hands speaking of who I wanted to catch these hands I never saw an Orson Krennic all day I really wanted to run up to an Orson Krennic and just say, my name is Jin Erso. You killed my mother. Prepare to die. But apparently no one wanted to dress up in a cool swoopy white cape. So that dream has gone unfulfilled. I was the only Jin Erso that I saw for like six hours. I'm walking around thinking, where are my friends? Where are my friends? Where are my friends? I had this idea that since I was dressed as Jin Erso, I would see at a distance one of my Rogue One compatriots and I'd be like, hi! And we would run into each other's arms and it would be amazing. Specifically, I kept looking for a Cassian. I did not, in fact, get to yell Cassian and then 
run across the distance of the showroom into his loving arms. But I did finally meet some other Rogue One cosplayer. I wish I'd had my camera out at the time. I was really bad at taking footage during this event. It was closer to the end of the day than the start of the day. And I'd given up hope at this point on finding any other Rogue One characters. And then I see it. I saw Baze. Unmistakable. His cosplay was gorgeous. Perfect. He was Baze. It was amazing. The Jin Erso of the group saw me first. And then the Baze turned and he approached me and he, he called me. He said, little sister. And I was like, oh my god, I'm crying in the club. There's only you in my life, the only thing that's right. This was the best and the worst part of the day because I literally became starstruck over other Rogue One cosplayers. I was like, I can't say words because I'm so happy that you're here cosplaying Rogue One. They had a Baze, they had a Jyn Erso, they had a Chirrut, and they had a Bodhi. I, looking back, I didn't actually speak any individual words to Chirrut or to Bodhi. What was I doing? I got, I got a, like a group picture with them and I was too excited to actually make any like in-character faces. I was just like, <sighs> Rogue One. Love it! <laughs> but I got so like awkward and I just was worried that I was dragging down my friends, that they'd want to move on without me, and that like I was bothering these cosplayers, so I like took a picture of them really quick, and then instead of asking, hey, can we get a picture like in character? Can we get a picture like striking an action pose? Can I get a picture where I'm not in it, but it's of you guys' cosplay, because you guys' cosplay as a group is, is great. Instead of doing all that, I just kind of ran away. But I only ran away like 10 feet, I just kind of stood near them, but with my friends, awkwardly for the next like 20 minutes, too afraid to go back and talk to them again. <sighs> uh... <laughs> Me at a fan convention. Yeah. The Jyn Erso, her name is Sophia, we became Facebook friends. And she actually came back over to like say bye to me before they like, were like kind of moving on to a different section. And she gave me a hug and we took like a couple Jin pictures, like as a squad. <laughs> squad of two. That was what I needed. If Fan Expo had ended and I had never found other Rogue One cosplayers, I would have been so upset. <laughs> the reason they didn't have a Cassian was because their Cassian was coming later, so I did not get to take a picture that included the whole squad. But close enough! I deeply wish I had talked to them more. Specifically, I wish, like, I talked to Jin more, but I wish I'd talked to the other guys more. Cheer it, Bodhi, Baze, and they were so good. Cosplay. I've rambled for a lot, but I'm gonna show you a couple things that I got at Fan Expo because mostly what I did at Fan Expo was talk to people and buy things. I'm not gonna show you everything I got. I got some like earrings. I'm actually wearing one pair now. Me and Grace got two different pairs of dinosaur earrings and then we swapped so that we could each have a different dinosaur. You probably can't see them, but yeah. I got this enamel pen that says I ship it. <laughs> that is me in a nutshell. I ship everything. I got this necklace. It's Haku from um, from Spirited Away. I should go close to the camera for these, but I'm not. It was a little like charm of Haku and I wanted it. But one of the best things that I got for sure is I got this necklace that's like an acrylic charm of Rose's slash Steven's sword from um, Steven Universe. I love it. I think it's I think it's spectacular. One of the things I was disappointed in with Fan Expo was I tried real hard to find an anime plushie. I wanted to get less Star Wars merch because my life is filled with Star Wars merch these days. And I wanted to get a nice nostalgia anime plushie of a character. Yeah, pretty much I wanted the main characters out of like those three animes or like nothing else. Okay, thanks. Love it. So I was not able to get any of that, but I did, for nostalgia's sake, get a bleach print. Da -da -da -da. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Am I gonna put it on my walls? Do I have space on my walls? I know it doesn't have Renji, so it doesn't have all the, the friend group, but it has the iconic original characters from the best part of the manga, which was 
the beginning. There was a guy who was selling um, individual Lego characters. So instead of having to pay $70 to get a Lego kit to get these characters, I bought a Chirrut and I bought a Baze because they have to go together. You know, they have to go together. I wanted to buy a Bodhi, but they were all out of Bodhi. And that was a theme throughout the day is that I could not find Bodhi Rook themed merchandise anywhere. They would have merchandise of like, all the other Rogue One characters have been out Bodhi Rook, and I'm like, I'm not saying this is racist, but where is he? He's an important character. If you hadn't had the courage to do something, to, to, to stand up, none of your would have happened, none of your work would have happened, none of your work would have happened, nothing would have happened if it were not for Bodhi Rook. This is a fact. That brings me to the pops. There were a shit ton of pops, those Funko Pop things, at Fan Expo. There was like seven different stalls that just had walls of pops. There was also a ton of Pokemon plushies, but that's another story. And every time we passed a wall of pops, I would search for Bodhi Rook. I knew he was a limited edition pop, but I searched for him the entire day. And right towards the end of the day, we passed a pop stall that I hadn't been in before, smaller than the rest. And their prices seemed a little bit higher. So I thought maybe, maybe this is where the secret pops are. And I was like, do you, do you have Bodhi Rook? And they were like, Yes, we have one left. Guess who owns Bodhi Rook now? It's me. <laughs> I hate these things, but like, I needed him. Oh, he's so cute. He's a bobblehead. And now he can join the only other pop that I own, which is Rukia. There we go. The two best characters ever. Me and Emily spotted this from afar. We looked up and we were like, oh look, there's some cool art over there. Post, post it up. Wait a second. Is that travel posters of different planets of Star Wars? Yes, yes it was. I am now the proud owner of Endor. Hoth. And obviously I had to get Look, it's me on a date. A date that just ended great and not in like, yeah, it end everything. This was a great beach time that we had, me and Cassian. Uh-huh. Love it. But you know what the best thing I got all day was? The best thing I got all day was actually just a birthday present that I got from Emily. She said, I wanted to get you Star Wars merch, but how do I get Star Wars merch for Alexander that she doesn't already have? So she made me a felt gin doll. Look at it. It's amazing. She, she was like, I'm sorry she's smiling. I know it's out of character, but I wanted her to smile. <laughs> Look at it. It's great. She's even got like a little bun and everything. Forget the like things that I have spent hundreds of dollars on. This is the Star Wars merch I needed in my life. <laughs> It's me. It's me. <laughs> okay, I'll put her down now. So anyway, what would I say my takeaway of the day was? Well, next year I'm going to go for more than one day. It'd be nice to go three different days. I want to go to panels. I would like to actually maybe meet a celebrity. I'm really awkward meeting anyone in real life. I could barely meet other cosplayers, but it would be so cool and I want to take more pictures of things and stuff and people's cosplays. <laughs> yep, that was my Fan Expo 2017 experience. I've talked for a way too long. I need to go now. Thank you for listening to this story of Alexandra as Gin at Fan Expo 2017. I will talk to you guys later. Alright, bye! We saw a lot of Harley Quinns, which, okay. I didn't like the ones that were dressed up from the Suicide Squad, okay? Suicide Squad sucked. If you're gonna dress as Harley Quinn, comic book Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn whose girlfriend is Poison Ivy. Harley Quinn, you know? I imagined this scene in my head. I would yell, Cassian! He would turn, dressed as Cassian. I would approach and... I mean, in the perfect scenario, we would fall in love instantly and then like elope but that did not happen I'm taking the snapchat oh my god amazing <laughs>